Hello, my name is Mohamed Burbul. Welcome to our daily news flash at Cap Somali TV. And here are today's our main top stories making headlines. Al Shabaab members killed in Somali's lower Shabali region. Gunfight and shelling reported in Las Ano town for the seventh day. Mogadishu police detaining two local journalists. SSC elders call for Somaliland forces to leave Las Ano town. And Turkey arrests building contractors six days after quacks. Al Shabaab members killed in Somali's lower Shabali region. Somali government says it has killed more than 18 members of Al Shabaab and a number of others were injured in a blinded operation in the Soviet area of lower Shabali region. It comes a day after Al Shabaab militants attacked and stormed the Somali security forces base in the Sabit and Anule vicinity early on Saturday. Authorities are saying several Al Shabaab members who were traveling in a big up track were targeted with a bomb killing them all. Security forces say the militants were part of a group of Al Shabaab who conducted an attack on the military base in the Sabit and Anole area in Loba Shabali region. Gunfight and shelling reported in Las Ano town for the seventh day. Gunfighting has resumed between Boro SSC local forces and Somaliland forces in Las Ano town for the seventh day on Sunday as numbers of people fleeing their home is rises, according to local journalists and the clan elders in Las Ano town. Local journalists also reported indiscriminate shelling in several locations in this troubled city of Seoul region. Somaliland forces have been accused of targeting civilian areas with heavy artillery and the bombing has caused various damage. The number of deaths and injuries could rise, according to the local health workers. However, hospitals and civilian residences have been bombed, making the situation the most complicated one. The ongoing clashes between Somaliland forces and local fighters come after weeks of tension in the town following the killing of a local politician by masked men. Protesters took to the streets in December, resulting Somaliland to shoot them. This latest fighting also comes amid a dispute over the future of the status of territories in eastern Somaliland, where, where a significant number of locals appear to support unity with Somalia. Mogadishu's Somali capital police forces detained two local journalists. Mogadishu police detained two radio resale journalists named as reporter Qasim Ibrahim and videographer Abdikrim Mohamud in Mogadishu's Karan district on Sunday morning. According to Somali journalist syndicate, they were reporting this morning on a protest by local motorists who were complaining against the road closure at Sana intersection, Karan district in Mogadishu. At the police station, the journalists were ordered to delay the footage of the protesters and refrain from covering any further protesters by the police before they were freed without judge. SSC elders call for Somaliland forces to leave Las Ano town. The clan elders of Sol, Sanak and Ain have asked Somaliland authorities to withdraw its forces from Las Ano city before any mediation talks could start. A statement by the clan elders said. In the statement, the elders, however, welcomes the ceasefire announcement by the Somaliland authorities on Friday. Earlier, Somaliland accused that Al Shabaab members were among the Bro SSC fighters in Las Ano town, but Dulbante clan elders demanded Somaliland officials to retract their statement, calling it baseless. They called the members of the international community to observe and ensure the immediate withdrawal of the Somalian army from the last Anot City. Thank you for your watching.